Hello children, welcome to biology class. Last class we discussed about the cell cycle. Do you remember it? Today let's discuss in detail about M phase. Okay, so the first one is mitosis. The type of cell division and somatic cell is mitosis. As we discussed last week, mitosis consists of four phases, which are the prophase, metaphase, anaphase, and telophase. Children, this is the first phase that is prophase. Prophase is the first stage of karyokinesis that follows the S and G2 phase of the interphase. Do you remember the synthetic phase and gap 2 phase of cell cycle? We know that in the S and G2 phases, the new DNA molecules formed are not distinct but intertwined, isn't it? And so, prophase is marked by the initiation of condensation of chromosomal material. The chromosomal material becomes untangled during the process of chromatin condensation. Okay, the figure is there in our uh, textbook. The centrosome which had undergone duplication during S phase of interphase now begins to move towards opposite poles of the cell. The completion of prophase can thus be marked by the following characteristics. See children, this is the microscopic view of different phases of our cell. Huh? See, interesting, right? So, this is a microscopic view of prophase alone. Here, the chromosomal material condenses to form compact mitotic chromosomes. Chromosomes are seen to be composed of two chromatids attached together at the centromere. And the centrosome, which had undergone duplication during interphase, begins to move towards opposite pole of the cell. Each centrosome radiates out microtubules called asters. The two asters together with spindle fibers form mitotic apparatus. So, the cells at the end of prophase when viewed under a microscope do not show Golgi complex, endoplasmic reticulum, nucleolus and nuclear envelope. Now, in the diagram you can see the prof microscopic view of prophase. Here, yeah, so what is the first phase of mitosis? Prophase. See, here you can see the late prophase and early prophase. Clear? Next one, metaphase. In center you can see metaphase. This is prophase, right? So now let's discuss about metaphase. What is that? The complete disintegration of the nuclear envelope marks the start of the second phase of mitosis. Hence, the chromosomes are spread through the cytoplasm of the cell. By this stage, condensation of chromosomes is completed and they can be observed clearly under the microscope. This then is a stage at which morphology of chromosome is most easily studied. See children? At this stage, metaphase chromosomes are made up of two sister chromatids which are held together by the centromere. Okay, and in this picture it is very clear, isn't it? Small disc shaped structures at the surface of the centromere are called kinetochores. So here you can see it again, this structure again, another diagram. These structures serve as the sites of attachment of spindle fibers to the chromosome that are moved into position at the center of the cell. Hence, the metaphase is characterized by all the chromosomes coming to lie at the equator with one chromatid of each chromosome connected by its kinetochore to spindle fibers from one pole and its sister chromatid connected by the kinetochore to the opposite pole. Clear? So, the plane of alignment of the chromosome at the metaphase is referred to as metaphase plate. Now, let's discuss the key uh, features. Spindle fibers attached to kinetochores of chromosomes. Then, chromosomes are moved to spindle equator and get aligned along the metaphase plate through spindle fibers and to the poles. So, this is a microscopic view of 
metaphase. Next one, anaphase. See, this is some anaphase. Here you can see prophase, metaphase and anaphase. Children, this is, this cell is at the stage of anaphase. What is anaphase? Here, each chromosomes are arranged at the metaphase plate, is split simultaneously and what happens to it? They split simultaneously and the two daughter chromatids referred as daughter chromosomes of the future daughter nuclei begin their migration towards two pole opposite poles. See, on two opposite poles you can see. See, here chromosome bundle at one pole, another chromosome bundle at another pole. Isn't it? As each chromosome moves away from the equator, equatorial plate, the centromere of each chromosome remains directed towards the pole and hence at the leading edge with the arms of the chromosome trailing behind. This anaphase stage is characterized by centromere split and chromatid separate. Here you can see a lot of cells showing anaphase, isn't it? Then chromatids move to opposite pole. See, this is a diagrammatic representation. And the last one, telophase. Huh? At the beginning of the final stage of karyokinesis, the chromosomes that have reached their respective poles and what happened? The chromosome cluster at opposite spindle poles and their identity is lost. The nuclear envelope develop around the syndromia clusters at each pole forming two daughter nuclei. So cleavage happened here. So, this is the cleavage of uh, the nucleus. Now, let's discuss about these are the four phases prophase, metaphase, anaphase, telophase. And we have to discuss one more thing what happens during telophase to the cytoplasm. So, now let's uh, explain cytokinesis. Cytokinesis in animal and plant cell are different. See, children, in animal cell, a furrow, a deep furrow formed here and it result the formation of two daughter cell. Whereas here, what happened instead of furrow, here a cell plate is differentiate the cells into two. See, here you can see this is cytokinesis in animal cell, cytokinesis in plant cell. Here in center, uh, cleavage furrow formed, whereas here cell plate formed. Only that is the difference. See, this is a microscopic, a beautiful microscopic view. Here in the single diagram you can see this is prophase, this is metaphase, this is anaphase, right? And here you can see telophase to in a single cell, a cleave to daughter cells, right? So this is mitosis. Children, what is the significance of uh, mitosis? It helps for growth uh, from that single cell zygote. We grown up, right? And after your growth, repair and replacements are happening day by day, isn't it? For example, every 120 days, new RBCs are formed in your blood. Then sexual reproduction for cloning it is required. So these are the significance of mitosis. Children, for next year for class 12, an uh, important question for our practical examination is preparation of slides of uh, mitosis. So you have to prepare these type of beautiful slides from onion root tip. So I hope uh, the process of cell division mitosis is clear to you. Isn't it children? So study well. Okay.